Agitated locals from the young to the women. Trying to chase away the herd of elephants. It's a battle that the locals in Meru County have to fight once in a while. Elephants that go astray find themselves in the farms of the villagers. Na alafu iko kikundi kingine iko iko katikati pale karibu 200 na kuna sehemu simepanda hivi karibu 500. Sasa nashindwa hii ndofu yote ikiwa imetusikira hivi tutasaidika namna gani. The long-term survival of some of the world's most iconic species including elephants and a leopard is at risk from a significant and escalating threat. Human wildlife conflict. Human wildlife conflict is when encounters between humans and wildlife leads to negative results such as loss of property, livelihoods, and even life. <laughs> Human wildlife conflict is a common occurrence in Meru, Isiolo and Kwale counties, especially during the dry season, when wild animals often change the migration patterns in search of water and pasture. <laughs> So Hapa ni ndovu hata miguu yake ndio hii ilikuwa inafanya hivi inajikuruta namna hii inaji imevunja mpaka boma ya ngombe hapa kwa hii jirani yetu hapa Masai imevunja ngombe yote mpaka kalishwa usiku na tochi apalaliki ngombe naleta shida maana inaogopa wamekuja mwaka huu ni watano Ninapolima mahindi yangu hata upojo ndio wamevuna. Hapa nimeshikilia walikuwa wamengoa pojo zangu nusu heka. Sote simeharibiwa. Ah miembe ikizaa tunapata matunda. Tunauza tunapata pesa za kulipia watoto. Sote simeharibiwa. Sasa mnaishi vipi sasa? Tunaishi hivyo hivyo kungangana tu ndovu zinakuja tunajaribu kupukuza mpaka unaiokopa kwa maana saa hizi imejua kuwa watu. Residents are decrying frequent invasion of their farms by the elephants from the forest, saying they have destroyed their crops every season in the previous year. These animals often inspire fear and anger among the farmers here in Kaongo. The elephants are messy eaters, scattering as much as they eat. Beatrice Mori is counting losses after the elephants invaded her farm and destroyed her maize that was almost due for harvest. Mm -hmm. 
Mambo ya uh, human wildlife conflict upande wa Meru tunaweza kusema ni kwamba kuna wanyama ambao ni ndovu wanatoka area ya upande wa Isiolo Shaba area inakuja upande wa Imend South ambapo kuna chakula na katika harakati hiyo unapata kwamba wanyama wakitembea wanapatana na mashamba imelimwa na pia wananchi wamejenga makazi yao sasa hapo unapata kuna usumbufu ya wanyama kukula mashamba ya watu na pia kuumiza watu hata kuua watu The community has been coexisting with the wild animals but the elephants are now becoming a big threat to food security and their lives Tayari zishaua watu ndo Simeua watu tena zimeua hapa juu si mbali Sikaua mzee sikaruti sikaua mama sikaruti sikaua mwingine hani simeoa watu wengi karibu saba saa hii area hii ya kwetu ndogo inaanza kukanyanga mimi mungu akanizaitea hapana kanyanga kitoa ikakanyanga kitonde mpaka nakatika ikawatwa kitu kidogo tu alafu ikatoa hii pembe iondoa mimi ipate na bati kutika mungu akaniwatilia alafu hiyo ni pembe yake ikapika mimi hapa mpaka natoa nyama hii inapeleka hapa na kupika nduru na kupika nduru uyi 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 watu wakatikia na wanaanza kupika kelele cha hiyo damu inakuwa mingi ndio naomba zikari kama nyinyi iko hapa maisha yangu sasa kuisha Hakuna kitu naweza kufanya tunaona vile na, na, na umia. In Kwale County, more than seven people have been trampled to death by the jumbos including a young boy. The father, Mzelo Bulu, mourns the death of his son killed by a rogue elephant at their home compound. Sasa mtoto aliuliwa na ndofu huko Silanga. Sasa mtoto alipigwa jioni tatokapelekea KWS tukalalamikia hata majipo bado mtoto wa miaka 10 najua wale watoto walikuwa nyumbani wenyewe na kijana mmoja sasa ndofu alipoingia nyumbani kama hii wale wengi watu wakasema ah ndofu hiyo ndofu hiyo sasa akaja ghafla anafata ile harufu ya chumvi ya ngombe eh sasa watoto wakajaribu hivi akashikia akakimbia akakimbilia hiyo akashika alafu ndio kashika hapo ikao hapo by saa 11 moja kasoro hivi After the attack, the elephant charged off into the thicket, leaving him for dead. It joined the herd and disappeared. Ina mwaka uliopita wakati kama huu waliua mtu chini hapa tu. Na hata huyo mtu bando tunaishi uchungu sana sababu hata leo tunahofia itakuaje kitambo hao ndovu wao toke kwa mashamba yetu. Residents now fear for their lives especially the children who are afraid of being attacked by the elephants on their way to school. Tulipeleka watoto shule leo kimiujiza na tunashangaa watoto wetu watafika nyumbani kivipi sababu ndovu wamejaa kila mahali. Ni mara ya kwanza imekuja ma ni wameishi wakitu wamezoea wamezoea hapa tuko sasa hii hapa tumesimama ni kama wanapitia hapa kila wakati The parents are compelled to escort the children to school daily to ensure they are safe. The farmers say they haven't had a decent harvest in a long time and blame the Kenya Wildlife Service for not acting fast enough when they raised complaints. Sasa tumeita watu wa Kendra Bigesi kutoka asubuhi. Sasa tunauliza tu hao watu tumewaita kutoka asubuhi, tunauliza sasa tutaenda kufanya aje. Tumeongojea wakuji. This is a farm in Mabura village. Ravaged by uninvited tailed guests. 
a sight farmers in the area have had to wake up to for the last couple of days as monkeys indiscriminately consume the crops. Farmers here have found themselves inadvertently caught up in some monkey business. Unaona tuseme siku hizi tuseme kama hapa kwetu ukipanda mahindi hivi siku ya kupanda tu hivi ndio utaanza kufanya nini? Kuchunga hiyo chamba. Hebu angalia. Bora wewe. Sasa labda serikali kama iko na uwezo wa kutusaidia. Njua vitu <laughs> they have been invading maize farms. The farmers are now worried their efforts will go to waste. Sasa ikienda ikipanda ile ile tukipandisha ile mlima ikipanda ikivuka ikienda na ile ngambo nyingine ikienda sasa ipate chakula ikuje inakuja kwa sababu ya maji hapo sasa uwezi kwa hizi tunaona machamba imekuwa hata tumeshindwa tulikuwa sisi tumejiutulu hata huyu amejiutulu umewahi jaribu kufanya mkutano labda na KWS tujawaona sasa tutalegewa na nani connection ya kuona ni ngumu umewahi enda ofisi yao wako na ofisi hata tujui kwa wapi Kuna wanyama ambao wameko kwa malipo ya schedule like our fisi ni mmoja ambao wako kwa malipo lakini baboons hawako eh hawako katika schedule ya malipo Jeremiah is counting losses after a hyena attacked his cow at night. He says he has reported the matter to the KWS and appealed for compensation, even with the increasing cases of human wildlife conflict in the area. Sisi hakuna hakuna mtu wa kutulipa. Ni sasa unaona hii ni kukufa inakufa saa hii. Sasa vile nataka nikoona kama serikali itanilipa ngombe yangu bwana. Kwa masaa 24 tu tumepata report. Eh tumepata report ya kwamba kuna eh, fisi ameingia kwa boma langu na imefanya madhara fulani. Mm-hmm. So sisi tunakuja wewe usishike chochote, unaacha vile ilivyo. Tunakuja, tunaangalia na tunaangalia ni mnyama ni wanyama kiasi gani umeuawa. Alafu tuna inform livestock. Livestock officer ndo anakuja anafanya assessment na kuandika ripoti na kujua ni wanyama wangapi na nini wanagaramika yani value. Inasema yani e, makisio ya gharama yake ni kiasi gani. So huyu mu livestock officer akiandika report tutakupatia form ya predation. Alafu uh, pia na chief andike nini andike barua ya kuonyesha kwamba ni ukweli hii mnyama aliingia kwa boma ya mtu fulani na wanyama kiasi fulani waliuawa na masaa ya wakati hii mnyama aliuawa na pia katika sheria inasemekana mkulima amefanya mikakati gani kuzuia huyu chui ama huyu fisi kuingia katika boma lake kukula wanyama wake na ndio tuna maana tunasema kwamba kama mnyama akiuliwa kwa kwa pekini forest huyo hawezi lipo kwa sababu hiyo imeuawa kwa forest lakini kama ni kwa boma ya mtu hiyo sasa kuna haki ya kuli ya kulipo in Ndomoru village Meru county three people were seriously injured by a leopard two of the victims sustained serious bites and deep wounds and were rushed to the hospital unakuja kitambo mimi naamka juu ameshika mzee kabla mimi nafika kwake ilikuwa naangusha mara mbili hivi nikachukua mawe kubwa unapiga kichwa hajawashiliwa unachukua ingine unaweka unawachilia unarukia mimi juu tena sujui vile ilikuwa naruka hata vile ilikuwa hata sijui ilikuwa narukia mimi na nakula na mdomo naangusha mimi 
dakika second ilibanda mimi hata mimi nashangaa inaangusha mimi mzee ndo nakuja inarudisha tena na sukuma mimi angalia bila na sukuma chini mzee nakuja kugonga unajua sisi haina hata fimbo paka mandaktari wanaogopa kumshona Jose Mate who was mauled by the leopard with his left eye gouged out narrates his ordeal Nilizikia sauti kitu iko hapo na mimi nilikuwa na fimbo nikaona kitu iko juu nikajaribu kufanya hivi nikagonga kapita na hii akaanguka huko na mimi nikaanguka pande hii akiamuka mimi nimeamuka ndio huyo tena nikagonga hii akarudi pale mimi nikarudi pale tatu kaanza kuheshimiana karudi pole pole mimi nikaanza kuruka hapo na huyo roho juu hii tafanya haja dada jisha bandu na mwaga damu ikakuja hapa kaita bibi yangu tukaenda tukareport police station kutoka hapo nikapelekwa hospitali katibiwa nikarushiwa kwenda nyumbani nikaambia sasa niende kwa ofisi ya world life ni report hiyo kisa the victims say the leopard appears to have settled in the area and has been attacking the animals 1 2 3 move the villagers eventually decided to stone it to death mtu akiwawa na mnyama inakuwa 5 million umeona alafu mtu pengine amejeruhiwa na mnyama ni 3 million alafu pengine kama ni amejeruhiwa na alafu daktari amesema degree of injury ni 2 million kwenda kwenda chini eh chakula ni inalengana na vile akacho officer eh, na tena inaenda na market rate ya ya vile inaenda kibalika The Inform Action team organized a meeting between the affected and the KWS officers on how to locate the animals and bring a lasting solution to the menace. Hatuoni ushirikiano wetu kabisa na wanyama. Na nyinyi kwa community, mwache kudanganya wa watu wa Kenya BS. Akwamba sisi tunaweza kushirikiana na wanyama ambao hatupata faida. Pat, hii ya wanyama iko hapa. Kenya BS wameacha. Wacha hata kusema ati sijini miti imekosa. Si miti imekosa. Wanyama wanatopanga kawaida kwa sababu haina fence. Kenya BS wameashiria pa kuwa ndio boma ya majangili. Yeye si kweli. Yeye si kweli. Hatuwezi fungua wanyama. Unajua tangia hapo mwanzo wanyama kama ndovu walikuwa na njia zao za kupitia. Tangia hapo mwanzo. Ndovu ikifikia wakati ya maybe kijana amekuwa barbaru na amefikia pengine aende kutafuta mwenzake ya kuoa, anafukuzwa kwa familia. Na akitofukuzwa kwa familia, anatoka kama hapa ni Meru, anatoka anaenda wapi? Isiolo kutafuta msichana apate aoe huko. So akitoka na kasirika, wakipata mtu yote kwa njia, ako na ile asira ya kufuku, ya kufukuzwa kwa familia. Unakuta na, ana, anafanya madhara kwa kwa wananchi. Lakini naye akifika, akipata msichana tena anarudi kwa mamake. Kwa familia akisema sasa nimepata msichana, mwana mtu huyu nimekuja na. So unakuta there is ile ile cross over. My little recorded hii wanya, hai wanyama. Ndio pili kuja kula shamba yao. Kula maraswe kula sukuma spinach kamaliza sasa hawa KWS hapa atokao pia wakakuja na scout yetu moja edu wakakuja wakachukua record wakapiga picha alafu wakati wanienda waliniambia mmoja mmoja hiyo form ile ni ujazi hawakuniambia nikuje huko wako direct kama ni mko ni leo mmoja sasa mimi nikibaki nikimwonjea ile form mpaka leo sasa hivi kazi report yako isichelewe kwa sababu ya kukosa mtu ya KWS enda kwa chief unajua kwa ke ofisi yake kwa nyumba yake unajua mueleze mimi mnyama amenifanyia 1 2 na hapa unipigie simu kabla munga ambaye inafaa haijaisha kando na conversation tunataka hiyo report ndio tuweze kujipanga pale kwa ofisi tutoke tukuje tuwasaidie bado on the ground si ni kweli 
Sasa kuanzia 20 tuseme kuanzia 2014 eh, malipo ilikuwa bado ilianza kulipo ya especially ya chakula. Lakini kuanzia 2022 malipo ya chakula imeanza kulipwa. Hata wengi wameambiwa wapatiane bank details zao walipe mazao yao ya chakula. Lakini ilikuwa bado kwa sababu serikali nafikiri ilikuwa na upungufu kidogo lakini sasa ndio sasa hivi wameanza kulipwa. Mali ambapo kuna wale FS special corridor watu wangekuwa na ile tunaita sanctuaries wale FS special community wale FS special ambapo instead ya kuweka vyakula waweke community sanctuaries waanze ma picnic sites watengeneze lodges za uh, wa, watalii so that wananchi wenyewe wapate nini wapate faida kama tuseme huko Shimba Hills kuna mali panaitwa Mwaluganje so waka donate mashamba mtu wako naika moja, mbili, nusu, nusu, waka tingeza community sanctuary. Sasa wame tingeza picnic sites. So wazungu wanaendaka hapo kuona. Sa hii mwalu ganje, tuseme wako na machines ya kutengeneza vitabu. Vitabu hizi za kuandikia hizi vidogo vidogo. Wanatengeneza tissue paper. So utakuta wananchi wanapata faida kupitia nini? Iwanya, wanyama. So wata mali ya bako pengine tuseme kutoka isiolo kuja ement kama hiyo area tungepata watu wangetengeneza conservancy ya community wenyewe community kama wako wili ni kuandika proposal tu wanaandika proposal alafu sisi tunawa guide eh tuna guide wanaandika inaenda paka kwa director general alafu wanakuwa guided how to form the the community the sanctuary eh wanakuwa guided kabisa sisi hatutaka hapa Tu, tuwe tunasubiri ndio kwa ingia shambani ndio tupeleke ripoti kwa wildlife eti kisa na mana unatafta malipo unatafta malipo ya kazi gani ni ndio buwa unduake ndio buwa undolewe waende kwa reserve yao na wananchi wabaki wakiwa na amani mjomba angu mimi mjomba angu aluliwa na noo anetuwa mzimu tulipika simu aluliwa kitu satisa ndofu hewa kwa sahi wamesababisha watoto wetu kuingiliwa na hofu na shaka na pia kisaikolojia. Kwa nini? Watoto wetu hawa wanaingia shule saa tatu wakichelewa sana saa nne. Kutoka wanatoka saa tisa mchana kwa sababu ya usalama wao. Hapo hapo watakapotolewa roho mkononi. The residents urged KWS to relocate the elephants immediately to avoid them incurring more losses or they would be forced to take matters into their own hands. Kama KWS wameshindwa, watuambie wananchi situ kwa sawa. Kinako nifanya wakitika kubembele zani, mune wakubembele zani umeisha. Kama mishunda kwa ndofu, vijana, nishale, tunaoda kita ninzima hapa. Kupe ndofu. Na watatoka, kwa ndu kuzaguni, tufanyeni, sisi ni wananchi wa zalendo. Sisi ni wananchi wa zalendo, tunakaa, tunasikiza wa yungozi wetu. Yungozi wetu ni pia na wafanyi, watusikize. Tunaloliomba, lifanyo kwa wakati. Kutokezea inje kwa nyumba, unakuta ndofu huyu. Ndofu ngapu pengine? Ndofu nyingi, saa ingine na wazakuta tanu, saa ingine kumi, na wazakuta mbili unaenda. Hata ishirini. Hata ishirini. so that our cry can be 
addressed The Wildlife Conservation and Management Act of 2013 provides for compensation to any person who suffers loss or damage to crops, livestock, or other property by wildlife. Wananchi, at least wa, wa, wae makini, especially kwa mambo ya ndovu. Ndovu ujua wakati moja wa watu wanaona ndovu ni mnyama mkubwa mm -hmm. na wanaona haizi kimbia lakini ni mnyama kwa nambiu haraka na za kumaliza mtu. So kuna nafasi ile mnyama anapatiwa ndio ukimwacha kama uja msumbua hana shida. Mm -hmm. So ile maombi yangu ni kwamba at least tu shirikani na wananchi ili tukapate kuwasaidia wasi asiadhiriwe na hawa wanyama. Tuko na outreach programs za kufundisha wananchi jinsi ya ya, ya kukaa na wanyama. Alafu pia huwa pia tunakuwa na tunaita corporate social responsibility. Tuone ya wale wabawa na thirika tunawajengia kama ni mashule, tunawajengia ma dispensary Hata ya maboho tunawachimbia, unaona, do at least waone ile umuhimu wakukana na wanyama. Uh, if process their payment ama compensation you apply to all counties in future uh, state departments and other government agencies wasiongoje communities kuleta petition ndio waweze ku act kwa sababu nyinyi ni bunge na mnaenda kuketi chini na mnapitisha bill at least uh, ministry ya loketiwe pesa ili wakati mambo kama hii yanatokea pesa isidile njana tuliomba speaker nafasi kwa sababu hiyo nja ni kubwa na ina uh, in a cut across the entire country to a public inquiry. Ya vile isuru iso tutaweza kutatuga once and for long.